PFA are gearing up for a large-scale attack against Angola's MPLA government. They're assembling an armored column to the north of Nova Braga Airport and will be ready to move soon. We've been contracted by the MPLA to put a stop to them. But the civil war will keep burning on, whether we accept this job or not. Another east-west proxy war with the communist MPLA on one side and the capitalist-funded CFA on the other. An endless seesaw of blood and violence played out in the hands of the superpowers. I had my doubts at first, but I think we should take this job. Skullface is gone, but Cypher still remains. Competition with rival PFs will only get more intense. For us to survive, we need to expand our organization and get strong enough that no one can threaten us. So our only option is to fight and grow, and fight and grow. Mission accepted. Heading to Central Africa. assembling an armored column to the north of Nova Braga Airport. Your job is to wipe them out. Listen to the tape for the contract details. Just be aware that the column's commander served with five commando, who later made a name for himself in South Africa's 32 Battalion. He's a hardened veteran, so don't take him lightly. Boss, I have a report from the intel team. The targets are now on the move. I've sent their predicted route to your iDroid. Check your map. Nice work. 
Departing area of operations. Select a strike point. Support helicopter requested. Enemy crisp detected. The map has been updated. Enemy crisp detected. Has been updated. This is Pequot. Approaching position. Support him. This is Pequot. I have arrived at marker. Cover fire. In hot. Rocket salvo. Rocket salvo. Shot down the chopper. Already a backup chopper. Call it from your iDroid. Strike will commence shortly. Supplies requested. Please select a support helicopter requested. Please select a strike point. Strike requested. Strike will commence shortly. Present. Please select a strike. The map has been updated. Strike requested.
strike will commence shortly. Please select a strike point. Support helicopter requested. Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated. Please select a strike point. Rocket salvo! Rocket salvo! Strike requested. Exfiltrated hot zone. Extraction arrived at mother base. Yes, mission complete. Boss, that was exceptional. Virus. I told you. 
Your father's not here. <clears throat> they're back. Yes, they're back. But don't get any bright ideas. Your quarters are under full surveillance. Your weapons privileges have been suspended. No more uprisings for you. Did you really think it would be that easy, Commander? You'll get your boys back. Hell, even see the boss too. But first, I need to know what you sent them to do. <clears throat> they wanted to leave. To their homelands. They wanted to go home. That's all. So they were just homesick then? Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> Militia warlords, PFs, the armies that murdered their families. Cousins, brothers, parents. They all had someone they wanted to kill. <laughs> I told them, last chance to face the world with no regrets. Last chance. You better be ready for your drag back here. Ready to face the world as enemies. <laughs> 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 Father, I don't need you anymore. Eli just rig it to stir up the boys. Either way, he had to have been planning for this all along. Bidding farewell to the world. Rain approaching. Boss, 
we've got the results of Eli's genetic tests, we can finally put this worry behind us. We used the PCR technique and conducted DNA fingerprinting of the copied DNA sequences. Neither is mainstream science yet, but the concepts and procedures are sound. Both tests say there is 0% chance that the two of you are blood relatives, meaning the results are negative. He's not your son, nor is he your clone. He's just another person. It was 12 years ago that Zero made plans to clone you. Eli's age and appearance certainly are a good fit. I admit the first time I saw him, I did a double take. But it looks like we were worried for nothing. Eli isn't your clone. Though you might still have one somewhere out there. But if Eli isn't the boss's clone, why does he seem so obsessed with him? Not to mention having one hell of an attitude for his age. I don't know. Learning the truth about himself, cursing the fact he's a clone, bearing a grudge against selfish adults, and coming to hate who he was cloned from. Big boss. If that were really the case, I could understand it. I might even feel a bit sorry for him. <sighs> but no clone could have a totally different DNA fingerprint. And the test left no room for error. You yourself were there when we drew Eli's blood sample. Come to think of it, when we went to OKB Zero, he'd snuck onto a chopper and was there. Yeah. He was acting strange even then. Or actually from a little before that time. That was exactly when we began these tests. Maybe he suspected something when we drew the sample, not knowing what we were doing to him, and becoming mistrustful of us. Hard to say. Eli's had an attitude problem from day one. So what is he then? Well, if he's gonna tell us that himself, We'll need to get him to open up more first. How the kid doing? Honestly, I'm not too sure. But uh, I don't think they love it here, but they seem to have accepted it. I figured as much. They've lost their families to war, had malicious abducted them, forced them to fight. They've got an attitude. 